Um, the next question is, why is there not enough money for community college teachers and students? Well, you know, if it was up to me, um, community college would be free to everyone. Uh, I mean, I think that's the best way to, to grow people out of poverty and to grow people in the middle class. Um, basically, there's a formula of one-third from the state, one-third from the city, one-third from the, from the uh, student. Uh, unfortunately, the city share has not been kept up. But ultimately, I think the, the greatest objective would be to see how can we make community college very accessible, because I think community college is our best tool to eliminating poverty in the city of Philadelphia. Again, we've had people join us since the beginning of the conference, so um, this question has come up before, but for the benefit of people who join late, um, Sean Robinson wants to know, um, what, what are we going to do about the schools? What, what are your plans to improve the schools? Well, I, Sean, I talked about four basic things. First, I talked a lot about preschool and the importance of preschool. I've talked about reducing the, um, reducing the, um, the class size. I've talked about modern classroom modernization, and then I've also talked about uh, um, having specific initiatives to affect the dropout rate. Those are the four things. But, but mainly, I've said that probably nothing is more important for the next mayor that you have a school system that meets the needs of the kids, not the adults. And I think it's essential if you're going to move Philadelphia forward. The school system is very important in terms of growing this city. has uh, any questions please submit them at this time you have any, uh, remarks? I think that you know to all of you who have asked me questions who are out there maybe listening to me and watching me um, in about 65 days uh, you will get to make a choice in an election in this Democratic primary obviously I would hope you would be supporting my candidacy and I would greatly appreciate it if that's what you intend to do but this election is extremely important. I would encourage you, if you're not registered to vote, to register to vote. You have up until April the 16th, I think it is. I would encourage you to participate in the forums and any meetups that people have so you can really understand the importance of what this primary is about. In my view, probably the next person who wins this election will have a great deal to say about the next eight years. What I've tried to say about my candidacy is that I believe that I have a clear vision of where I want to go with this city. I want to first and foremost grow this economy. I want to make this a safer city, and I want to make sure that schools work for everyone. I want to grow the economy, make sure, to make, make sure that it's a safer city and that schools work for every kid. And it's important to understand that that's going to take someone who has the, the necessary leadership skill, the experience, and the knowledge to make it happen. I believe I've demonstrated that in the last 26, 27 years I've been in public <coughs> office with the things that I've done in West Oak Lane. Those things I've done in West Oak Lane in that neighborhood, I'm telling you, I can do it for the entire city. But I need the opportunity. I'm asking you to help me, and if you decide you want to help me, if you, if you want to do a coffee clatch or you want to do a meetup, you can easily contact us through our website, you know, evansformayor.com. You can send, you know, a note that you would like to do a coffee clatch. If you'd like to have the opportunity for me to come meet your neighbors and have some kind of conversation, dialogue. This election is going to be won out on the street, and it's going to be won among people such as yourselves who really care about our city. This is our city, all of us. All of us have responsibility to be concerned about what is happening in all our neighborhoods. You know, if your neighborhood either fortunately is not affected by the level of violence that may be occurring in some other neighbors, then you're fortunate. But I share with you that what happens in one neighborhood eventually will happen in another neighborhood. And I think it's important for all of us to join together to make this the safest big city in America. Government has this responsibility, but we all have responsibilities to make a difference in this city. And I'm asking you, I'm asking you tonight, help me help this city by joining in with this effort to make a difference in this city to make this a safer Philadelphia block by block. And the way it will happen is if you join this crusade to make this a better place to live. Um, so this is a last question. Um, in your opinion, what is the best part about living in Philadelphia? Oh, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's, look, 
I still think it's relatively inexpensive in terms of housing. Uh, I think you have some of the great um, uh, art treasures in the city of Philadelphia. You, ha you do have some of the great sports teams. You know, it's been a while since we made it to the Super Bowl and, and restaurants and um, basketball. You know, the Sixers going to make it to the playoffs. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. They're on the move. Mo Cheeks has done a fantastic job. You know, we're quick to criticize Mo Cheeks and Billy King when, when they made decisions that people didn't agree with by trading Iverson. You know, we wish Iverson the best, but, but the city's – basketball teams on the move. So the basketball team, the football team, the Phillies look like they're ready for a great year. The Flyers are, are holding their own. And I think this is all fantastic. I mean, that's just a part of it. But you got some great institutions. And I believe the vast majority of people in this city are positive. They want to make a difference. They believe that we can make a difference. We got a few challenges that we have to deal with. And violence is probably the greatest challenge that we face in this city. But I'm telling you, I would not live any place else in America. Now, I've been to a few cities around this country, and I've been to a few countries around this world. I'm telling you, we are moving in the right direction. We've got a lot of work to do. Depends on what you do on May 15th and the kind of leadership that you pick. I hope that that leadership is, is Dwight Evans. And I think I've demonstrated I'm prepared to lead this city. I just need your help. And I hope from this web chat that you've heard that you get a better sense of who I am. I'm a guy who really enjoys people, likes people, always want to think the importance and the best of people. And I hope you, I hope you strongly consider my candidacy. And I look forward to uh, next Sunday on the 19th, uh, we're going to be doing another web chat uh, from 7 to 8. And I hope you will join us uh, on March the 19th as I continue to try to reach out um, to all of you. Uh, and, and don't forget, um, you know, about March Madness. I think it is uh, next, next Monday night, it'll be, or next Tuesday. But the point of it is um, we should say go Villanova and go Penn. Thank you very much.